Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. So if you guys didn't know by now, I am a huge Disney fan, so you can only imagine how excited I was when they invited me to create some really fun looks for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So for this look, I'm gonna be doing a look inspired by Madame Leota from A Haunted Mansion, and I'm ready, so let's do this. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is prime your skin. You always wanna make sure that you're prepping your skin before applying any kind of makeup, just so that when you're applying the makeup, it sits right on the skin. And you guys know it is never too early to get ready for Halloween, and I already got my ticket for the party, which actually kicks off August 16th, and if you guys want more information on that, just be sure to check the description below. So now I'm gonna be jumping in to the face painting part. I'm gonna be going in pretty much with these two blues right here and then this white paint right here. I'm just gonna be using different shades of blue just to create dimension in my face. I'm just taking a dry sponge to apply the face paint. Honestly, I prefer using a sponge over a brush because sometimes when you use a brush, it looks a little bit more streaky on the face. And when you use a sponge, it just blends a little bit better. It looks a little bit more natural on the skin. One thing I'm so excited to check out this year is Disney's Not So Spooky Spectacular, which is a new fireworks show that they have coming out this year. All right, so now I'm just gonna set my face with a translucent powder. That's just gonna keep the paint a little bit more in place. It's gonna look more matte, so you're not gonna look that shiny or oily. And with translucent powder, because it's translucent, you're, you can put it like all over your face. So I'm gonna be going between the blues in this palette and the blues in this palette, just to kind of create a little bit more dimension on my face. One of my favorite things about the party is that both my daughter and I really love this, that we get to go trick-or-treating all over Magic Kingdom Park, and there's actually allergy-friendly options. So now I'm gonna be moving on to my eyes and I'm gonna be taking this white shadow, this pink one, this purple one, and this blue one, and I'm gonna just be going back and forth between those four colors on my eyes and just do a lot of blending so they all kind of look really smooth and you don't really see where one color starts and where the other one ends. Also, not only do you guys get to ride some of your favorite attractions, but there's also the Boo To You Parade, which has tons of performers, music, characters dressed in their costumes. My daughter and I went and we loved it, so I definitely recommend that you guys check that out. All right, so I'm just gonna be applying some purple liner in my waterline, and then I'm gonna be using a black liner to apply on my lid just to create a little bit of a wing.
All right, so the last step for the eyes is to add your fake lashes. So I'm gonna be adding mine. After I'm done applying the fake lashes, I'm just gonna move on to my brows. But for my brows, I'm just gonna be using the same purple eyeshadow that I have on my eyes. That's what I'm gonna use to color in my brows. For my blush, I'm gonna be adding this pink blush right here. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of an illuminator to my cheekbones and I'll be adding this blue right here. Now to finish off my makeup, I'm gonna be moving on to my lips and I'm going to be outlining my lips in this darker purple lipstick and then on the center of my lips, I'll be using this hot pink. our Madam Leota look, make sure to check the description down below for all of the event details and do not forget to get your tickets for the party. And in the words of Madam Leota, serpents and spiders, tale of a rat, calling the spirits wherever they're at.